Hello friends, uh, my name is Jyoti and I am assistant professor in School of Management Sciences, Lucknow. Now in the series of video lecture of uh, re, uh, sales and retail management, our next topic is retail sales technique and promotion. As the name itself uh, refers promotion and you must have heard about the uh, term promotion that whatever the things the company wants to obtain uh, uh, through the medium of the customer, but uh, how customers become aware about the things that you are that you want to deliver and uh, you you want to uh, uh, obtain uh, uh, it obtain so it is one of the element through which a company basically uh, uh, gives information about the things that they are offering to the customers uh, and cust uh, as soon as uh, the customers become aware about the offerings that you are going to uh, offer them they just started purchase uh, the product uh, if the product uh, is of their need. So, uh, obviously, if you talk about retailers or retailing, a promotion is also very important uh, aspect uh, as per retailers. So, uh, in this video lecture, uh, we just, uh, I will just try to make you people understand about the promotional aspects and the sales promotional aspects of uh, retail outlet that uh, the retailer wants to uh, achieve or that retailer wants to uh, uh, do in the particular store. So, uh, the first introduction part that is uh, retail promotion, what do you mean by retail promotion? As this word is made of two words promotion and retail, retail means somehow uh, a person or activities involved uh, with related to retailing and promotion word means to promote something or to promote something simply means to promote the retail outlet or the retailing activities that the retailer, retailer wants to communicate the, to the customer. So, we can broadly define retail promotion uh, is uh, all those communication tools uh, or the communication that informs the customers about uh, the products and services uh, that the retailer is going to offer to them uh, and also to persuade uh, them and to remind them from time to time. So, that they just aware about the availability of the assortment or the merchandise in the particular store and uh, by doing uh, this particular act of this particular task, the retailer wants uh, to obtain the uh, profit aspect or obtain the its object, uh, ob obtain the objective part that the retailer wants to obtain. Next uh, means uh, obviously, a retailer uh, wants to do promotion or wants to give information about the offerings or about the assortments to the customers, but obviously, uh, before doing so, before involving in the work of promotion, there must be a planning. So, obviously, uh, before implementing there, there must be a plan done by the retailer. So, how a retail promotional strategy is being planned by the retailer? So, these are the steps, these are the uh, strategies uh, which are followed by the retailers in order to give information about the assortment or the offerings of the uh, available in the particular store. Like the first one is determining promotional objectives, second establishing a promotional budget, selecting the promotion mix, implementing the promotion mix, reviewing and revising promotion program. So, uh, we just start the first strategy that is determining promotional objective, means the in this uh, context the retailer firstly decide what objective he or she wants to achieve with a promo with a particular pro, uh, promotional programs, whether the retailer is going to give information about uh, the new establishment or the availability of the assortment that he or she is going to offer or uh, the objectives like uh, to increase the sales, to give information about the uh, certain scheme, certain offers to the customers, so that the customers behavior can be persuaded or can be influenced uh, in order to purchase the product. So, firstly the retailer has to determine or the fix uh, the objective part, what objective or what thing, what goal the uh, retailer wants to achieve with a particular promotional campaign or particular promotional uh, program. The after deciding or determining the objective of uh, doing a promotional uh, thing, the second one is establishing a promotional budget. Obviously, whatever the planning done by the company, it must be supported with some financial aspect or uh, it cannot be completed without uh, involvement of money, a certain amount of money. So, whatever the objective determined by the retailer in order to 
uh, fulfill the objective, the next uh, that objective must be supported by some financial aspect. So, as per the objective that the retailer has decided uh, for the uh, activities, the second thing is just uh, you just decide as retailer the promotional budget means how much amount you will dispose of in a particular uh, promotional campaign means if you want to do uh, some promotional activity. Uh, firstly, you have to decide the objective part and as per the objective you have to decide the budget aspect means the amount of money which you will pay in order to spread the information about the offerings about the about your establishment to the uh, customers. Next one is uh, selecting the promotional uh, mix after uh, deciding uh, the amount of money which should be used uh, for the work of promotion the next is. Uh, uh, selection of promotion mix. As the name itself refers that uh, mix promotion mix means obviously, it must be a combination of certain elements. In the later slides, we will discuss how many types of elements come under promotion mix, but in general we can understand that uh, it, uh, if we talk about uh, promotion mix that this concept basically consists of certain types of elements that is why it is called promotion mix. And if we talk about promotion mix like elements like advertising, uh, personal selling, pers publicity, public relation, sales promotion, these are the elements of promotion mix. So, as per the uh, amount of budget, as per the budget that you have decided for a particular uh, 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 promotional campaign, you just decide or you just select it out that uh, which tool uh, you will use in order to spread information about the offerings or about the store to the customers. So, the next action is selecting the promotion mix means whether you are going to select one particular uh, element like advertising uh, or uh, person selling or sell sales promotion, public relation or publicity or you can go for a combination of all these elements means whatever the budget. Uh, that you have fixed or you have determined for your promotional campaign as per uh, that budget or that amount of money you just decide the amount or uh, the combination of promotion uh, elements or uh, the combination of promotion elements means uh, elements are available under promotion mix you, you are free to opt any one of or combination of the elements of promotion mix. So, as per the budget, as per your pocket, as per your affordability, you just select it out different uh, elements of whether uh, you are going to select one or combination of all the elements. It is totally depend on the budget that you are, uh, that you have fixed or <coughs> determined for the promotional aspect. Next is implementing the promotion mix, means uh, now uh, you just, you have decided that I will use the element like advertising. So, advertising uh, requires uh, some uh, type of creative work means uh, how the particular message will be de de uh, developed, who will be responsible for developing that particular message and through which that, that particular ma developed message will be communicated to the target audience. So, uh, whatever uh, the elements that you have decided uh, as per that you just try to implement that promotion mix means. Uh, uh, if you are going to uh, uh, opt personal selling element means how uh, uh, which sales representatives yeah who will be the uh, uh, who will be the sales representative uh, which will be uh, assigned the task of uh, communicating information to the customers with face to face means whatever yeah uh, uh, whatever the element that you have decided or you have selected for the work of promotion as per that you just implement the promotional mix strategy means if you have selected advertising you just go for uh, uh, creating uh, you will be obviously involved in creating the message aspect and uh, creation of the advertisement development of the message development of the content in such a way so that the behavior of the buyer can be influenced and you will obviously give uh, do some tie up with media persons or media organizations so that through media you can just give it out uh, give the information about the offering or your establishment to the customers so whatever the decision you have uh, taken regarding the selection of uh, one particular element of promotion mix or combination of all the elements of promotion mix that should be executed that must be implemented implemented if in physical form in a ready form so that that particular uh, message or that particular article that particular advertisement uh, uh, must be presented to the customer so that a customer become aware about your offerings or, or whatever the things that you want to give to them 
and the last one is reviewing and revising promotional program. Whatever the program that you have decided, whatever the objective that you have decided uh, through a particular uh, advertising campaign or promotional campaign, you just review it out all the activities that you have uh, uh, conducted that you have done. So, uh, so that correction can be uh, done if any loopholes is happening in your uh, overall planning or overall executing part, implementing part and time to time you have to revise uh, the promotional campaign or the promotional program that you have uh, conducted for achievement of the promotional objective that you are carrying with yourself. So, uh, time to time uh, review is being done by the uh, concerned person or uh, accordingly revision or accordingly some corrective action can be taken in order to fulfill the gap. So, these are the steps uh, uh, that must be followed by a retailer uh, while doing or uh, while involving in the work of promotional strategies of, your, of the concerned uh, retail outlet. Means uh, just a quick review of all the steps like determining promotional objectives, whatever the objective that being a retailer you want to obtain, whether you want to give information for the uh, to the customer for the first time about your new establishment, about the assortment, about the availability of the product and whether you are going to uh, inform uh, uh, customers about your offers, about your discounts, about your different strategies, about your CRM practices, whatever the objective that you are carrying, uh, firstly you have to decide as a retailer. The second one is establishing a promotional budget. Uh, as per uh, the objective, as a retailer you have to decide or uh, select uh, or uh, determine the amount of money which you will dispose of uh, for fulfilling that particular objective. Obviously, there are certain methods of promotional budgets like uh, affordability method, uh, percentage of sales method and competitive parity method. These are the methods of promotional budget. Affordability method simply means uh, whatever the pocket of the retailer allows. As for the pocket, uh, they, uh, they can take decision about the investment or uh, uh, about the disposing of the money for the work of promotion. Competitive parity method simply says that as for the competitors, what means whatever the amount, uh, whatever the strategies that your competitors have taken in disposing of their amount of money for the promotional work, you will do the same things. When competitive parity means as per the competitor strategy. Uh, whatever the strategies or whatever the amount they are disposing of in promoting their product, you, you as a retailer follow the same. So, uh, there are different methods uh, of uh, budget uh, determination of the promotional budget, a, you uh, as a retailer are free to opt uh, any one of the method. So, uh, as per the objective you, you just select it out the method or as per that you just decide the amount of money which will you will uh, which you will dispose of while uh, determining the promotional program of uh, uh, of a particular uh, promotional campaign. Next is selection of promotion mix. Uh, as I told earlier, the promotion mix obviously is a, it is a combination of certain elements. So, as per the budget, you just decide uh, which tool or which element you will use in order to spread the information about the uh, offerings or about the about your establishment, about your location, about your offerings, whatever the things that you want to give to your, uh, you want to communicate to your customers. Next, whatever uh, uh, the elements have been selected. Uh, or uh, the elements that you have selected for the work or for the purpose of promotion mix, you just work it out means just try to develop the message, try to develop the creative aspect, uh, try to uh, develop the layout aspect and uh, who will be responsible for all these and uh, just get uh, by doing all these, uh, by taking care of all these aspects, you just able to implement the uh, physical or the promotional mix, so that uh, that a particular information can be means that particular advertisement can be presented, that particular thing, that particular aspect or uh, piece of information can be communicated to the concerned customer or to the target audience. And from time to time you have to, being a retailer you have to review and revise your strategies that you have taken in order to give uh, the, uh, in order to give or in order to spread the information about. Uh, the things that you want to do. So, these are the steps uh, that must be taken care of by the retailer while involving in the work of promotion. As uh, uh, in uh, previous slide, one word has been mentioned that uh, promotion mix. 
means uh, uh, what are the elements uh, that come under promotion mix and uh, which uh, are the options available uh, for the work of promotion. So, these are basically the options or the elements of promotion mix which can be used by the retailer in order to spread information about the offerings or about the establishment or whatever the uh, retailer want to communicate to its target audience. Like uh, it is a, a matrix in which there are two aspects like impersonal and personal and uh, paid and unpaid. Impersonal means there is no any direct or face to face interaction between the manufacturer between the company and the customer and if we talk about personal means there is a physical touch, there is a direct touch available between these two parties. Now, what are the elements? Paid and unpaid. Paid means uh, for doing the work of promotion, the company has uh, the company basically gives certain money or certain amount of money to the concern or to the outsider or to the other party who is involved or to who help the company in doing the work of promotion. So it is called paid and unpaid means uh, there is no amount uh, involvement of any amount of money for the work of promotion. That's why it is called unpaid. And we will understand these four quadrant one by one like advertising, store atmosphere, visual merchandising and sales promotion. These are the elements that come under paid and impersonal like advertising. Advertising is basically uh, somehow a particular advertisement that is made by the company in order to uh, uh, communicate to the concerned uh, customer in basically uh, through some media. Means uh, firstly uh, in order to uh, before giving that advertisement or before submitting that advertisement to media, firstly some creative activity should be required like creation of message and development of message. If the company is able to do, the company just do it out and if the company do not, uh, the companies do not have such type of uh, 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 people who are, who have the expertise, they, they hire certain uh, outsourcing or uh, outside ad agencies which help the company in creating and in developing the message of uh, the concerned product or the offerings that they are offering to them. So advertising because uh, the company basically pay to ad agency as well as to media because through media we as customer, we as target audience get information about any product or service. So it is paid for and in, in, in personal simply we as target audience just get that information through media means we are not getting information through the company uh, and there are two intermediaries basically involved in that like company and then ad agency then media and then target audience means as target or we as target audience do not have uh, the direct interaction or the physical touch with the company so it is called that's why it is called impersonal so advertising is basically a paid form and impersonal store atmosphere St store atmosphere is a uh, basically an entity which uh, do not, does not communicate anything uh, directly to the customers and uh, uh, and uh, in order to establish, in order to set up the atmosphere of the store, the retailer has to dispose of certain amount of money. That's why it is paid for visual merchandise. Again, the same thing uh, as in order to dis uh, in order to um, give a proper display of the ability of, of the assortment that the retailer has. So, uh, uh, for that purpose, the retailer has to. Uh, dispose of certain amount of money too in, uh, in this particular aspect. So, it is also a paid form. Sales promotion, sales promotion is basically what uh, uh, some certain type of incentives which are given to the customers for a limited time or period. Means uh, there is also involvement of money and there is no uh, company is not directly giving to the customers, company is giving these type of benefits or the promotion aspects through some intermediaries that that is why it, it is called impersonal. The next is uh, personal selling may personal and paid form means personal there is a physical touch there is a direct direct touch available between the company representative and the customer the representative of the company directly interacts with the customer and give information about the offerings or about the things uh, to the customers that's why it is called personal and paid form obviously the company hires uh, suitable candidates uh, efficient candidates which can fulfill uh, which can help the company in fulfilling the objective uh, of the company. So, uh, it is a uh, paid form and personal unpaid publicity. Publicity is basically unpaid form of promotion. Company does, uh, companies basically does not uh, uh, give money in order to uh, create a publicity or create a, pub a popularity among the customer. So, uh, it is called uh, impersonal and uh, unpaid and word of mouth 
is basically personal and unpaid. Word of mouth is simply if a customer is satisfied after the offerings or after the things that you are uh, offering to the customers, if they are satisfied, they just spread the positive information about the product and services to the customers. So, that uh, automatically uh, promotion is being done by those satisfied customers and being a company you are not paying them for doing this particular uh, task. So, it is unpaid and personally means we uh, are directly interacting or uh, directly uh, communicating our experiences or positive or negative experiences to the uh, to uh, the next one or to the other persons that is why it is called personals. We are directly interacting with them and communicating the information, uh, com communicating the feedback that we have uh, with the particular offering or with the particular establishment. We just communicate it out to the concern or to the other person that is why it is called personal. So, these are the different elements of promotion mix. Uh, the retailer can go for uh, any one of or uh, can go for uh, the combination of all these elements in order to spread the information about the offering or in order to give information about the product to the concerned customer. Okay, the next one is uh, the important element of promotion that is advertising. As advertising uh, is basically a paid form of uh, communication and it is non-personal and issued by an identified sponsor. Paid form of communication as I told earlier that the company has to give certain amount of money to the concerned ad agency for creation of advertisement as for and for development of the message and development of the advertisement. So, uh, and through media, uh, the company just uh, give information or spread information to the target audience. So, uh, the company has to pay a certain amount of money to the ad agency as well as to media that is why it is called a paid form of communication. Non-personal means there are two intermediaries involved between the company and the target audience and the company is not directly interacting with them. So, it is non-personal and issued by an identified sponsor means we as customer by seeing the advertisement we are able to know that which company is offering and which retailer ha is offering this particular uh, this part, uh, the retailer has uh, this particular of assortment. So, whatever the company or whatever the retailer uh, that they are involving or they, they are doing the work of advertising as customers we are we basically know their names. So, uh, that is why it is called issued by an identified sponsor. So, we can define advertising that it is a paid form of communication and non-personal and basically done by a, an identified sponsor. Benefits of retail advertisement basically uh, advertisement obviously it is a one of the element of promotion. So, obviously it helps in creating aware awareness among the customers about the existence, price and availability of products. It educate customers about the product and the their diverse use used. It increases the utility of existing product and uh, means uh, whatever the offering or whatever the establishment the retailer has the overall thing or the overall information related to that the setup or the offerings or about the offers those all information uh, must be communicated or uh, is communicated to the uh, customer. So, that as customers be, uh, like us aware about the those information we become influenced, we become persuaded and just go and just uh, move forward to those particular uh, retail settings. So, these are the benefits of uh, retail advertisements. And these are the steps involved in retail advertisement campaign uh, like setting advertising objective, allocation of advertising budget, designing advertising message means uh, firstly you have to decide the objective aspect means uh, through advertisement which type of message you want to give to your uh, target audience. As per that you have to decide the amount of money which will you will uh, which you will dispose of and as per that as per the amount of money you just decide the message aspects means if you have uh, less amount of budget you just go for a shorter message and if you have more then you can go for a wider message uh, printed on a larger space and it requires uh, uh, more time. So, uh, as per that uh, you just uh, uh, develop the message and as per the availability of the budget you will also go for the selection of different media options. Means, you, if you have uh, lots of money then you can go for uh, the costier uh, options media options available and if you have less then accordingly you can take decision regarding the selection of different medias and uh, uh, whatever the uh, message you have created for uh, uh, for the customers you just uh, 
give to the customers by running advertising campaign and at the last you just able to know the uh, or measure the effectiveness of that advertisement means that advertisement has created impact on customer or not means if the sales has increased so somehow that advertising campaign or that promotional elements has worked uh, very uh, beautifully so that the customer uh, become influenced and uh, resultant in uh, purchase more and more product that that resultant in more profit. So, uh, whatever the campaign that you have decided for the work of promotion, you, at the last you just measure the effectiveness of that particular advertisement campaign, so that accordingly you can just take decision regarding going with that particular advertisement or, uh, or doing some changes, doing some correction and then regulating, then presenting that advertisement to the customers. So, uh, these are the uh, different uh, media, uh, popular media vehicles used in India. Uh, retail like leaflets, like direct mail magazines, billboards, wall paintings, banners and mobile phones. We uh, as customers must have a, uh, known uh, are having this particular information about these media options through which we as customers just get information about the offerings of uh, whatever we want to obtain. The next element is sales promotion. Sales promotion is simply short term incentives given to uh, the, the basically there are two purposes involved in that to increase the sales, to promote the sales and to promote the uh, product as well. So, and these uh, promotional uh, elements, uh, the purpose and the objective, the characteristic is basically these are the short term incentives, incentives Q. Uh, why incentives? Because uh, by paying a certain amount of money, a customer gives uh, additional benefits by purchasing and these benefits are basically given for a particular or for a limited time period, that is why it is called short time. Objective of sales promotion, this means stop and shop, shop and buy, buy bigger because we are giving, we as retailer are giving offers, so we are, we can expect that the customer can buy uh, products in bulk, uh, in bulk or in big amount, repeat purchases in order to, uh, uh, in order to uh, buy big and uh, in order to get the benefit of the offers that the retailers are giving, uh, we as a retailer are expecting that the customer just repeat the behavior, uh, purchase behavior towards the store and uh, increasing the number of transactions obviously there if you are repeating their behavior it will result in increased number of transactions and also increase the size of the average sales. And in store activities as a part of sales promotion price of packs, premiums, sampling, coupons, buy one get one, multi pack. Sampling means if we uh, as customer when we uh, sometimes when we go to uh, one retail outlet like big bazaar, we see that in certain product category uh, sampling is being done. Just check it out the taste and fl flavor of that particular product and as per you just take decision that whether you will purchase that product or not. So, these are the in store activities as a part of sales promotion. Next is personal selling, personal selling as I told earlier there, selling is done by directly interacting with the customer means uh, the representative of the company directly interacts with the customer and involved in the work of promoting or spreading the information about the offerings or about the establishment of the retailers that they want to communicate to the concerned customer. Types of personal selling means taking the order and getting the order obviously and these two type types of selling done by certain uh, some sales person means in both the active both the type sales persons are involved. So, first order taking sales persons are basically these type of act uh, they are involved in these type of activities like uh, setting displays, placing inventory on the shelves, answering simple questions of the customer means whatever the query the customers are portraying to them they just uh, solve it out, filling up the order form and ringing up the sales and basically uh, normally a mix of sales service and some service personnel on the floor. And second one is order getting sales person means these sales persons are basically involved in the work of uh, persuading or informing or taking and closing the sale activity and they also uh, uh, expect uh, some repeat purchases uh, from the customer. Uh, other tool of promotion like public, public relation and publicity, public relation by maintaining the relationship with different publics like internal and external, internal means the employees of the organization and external means the different stakeholders uh, which are uh, somehow directly or indirectly related to you. So, you just uh, try to maintain relationship with them and accordingly they will help you out in spreading the information or uh, the positive word of mouth about your uh, retail establishment or the offerings to the customers. And the next is publicity, publicity and uh, it is uh, it can be the outcome of the word of mouth means one if one customer is satisfied after using your uh, 
uh, after experiences or your retail ex, uh, retail establishment or your offerings that you have as a retailer. So, they just give a positive word of mouth that they uh, spread the information. So, automatically that your retail establishment become popular and publicity will be created. So, these are the different tools of promotion available uh, as uh, among uh, uh, available in front of you as a retailer. So, you just take it out or you just take decision regarding the selection of uh, the element or promotion mix whether you will use uh, one element or a combination of element. And uh, these things are uh, taken care of by uh, taken care of by retailer while doing uh, while involving in the work of promotion like uh, retailers location will help the determine the target area of uh, promotion. High sales of uh, means whether if you are doing the promotional aspect, you will expect a high level of traffic in your store and uh, uh, short term cash or short term sales uh, should be increased and automatically you will uh, expect a long term sales after doing certain promotional activities in your store. And uh, obviously, promotional aspect somehow help you out in uh, uh, attaching with this, uh, attaching the behavior of yours with the st store. So, uh, these uh, things must be taken care of by the retailer and these are the promotional guide, guidelines that uh, retailer should uh, pay attention on these guidelines and after going through these guidelines, uh, they just do the uh, work of promotion like uh, uh, whatever the promotion that you are doing uh, that must be consistent with, uh, consistent with the image of the store and uh, uh, you just use different types of appeals in persuading the uh, behavior of the customer so that they just come to your store and uh, just uh, do uh, do some uh, purchases and uh, uh, as a retailer you just uh, work on the locational aspect means you uh, display aspects or you should in, uh, invest a high promotional budget in order to give or in order to uh, bring customers towards your retail establishment that somehow help you out in uh, fetching more and more profit from uh, uh, from these activities. So, you just taken care you as a retailer just taken care of these guidelines uh, while involving the work of promotion and these are the references if you want to get more information. So, these are the references of the books in which you will get uh, the detailed information about the things that I have uh, explained in this particular video lecture. So, thank you.